Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to do a two-layered stencil. Um, first, let's talk about the supplies that we'll need. Alright, so what we have here is we have some thick paper. Cardstock or paper plates or poster board that you can get at the local grocery store. Any of those will work to use to cut your stencil with. You need thick, thick cardstock. Just like these. Then we need some cardboard. Now, not corrugated cardboard, just a thin, flat, thick cardboard so we can, so we can cut on so we don't cut in our cutting surface. Then we have a pencil to draw our drawing, a marker to figure out what we want to cut out, and then an X-Acto knife. Now the key with an X-Acto knife is you always need a sharp blade. I like to get these number 11 X-Acto blades in the 10 pack that have these black cases. They have a little thing to deposit your old blades in and then that way nobody gets cut and when you throw them in the trash can and stuff. Just like that. So, I'm going to grab a new one and put that in as your nice new cutting blade. Always start with a nice, clean, sharp blade. That's key. Then, we have a respirator. Respirators are really expensive, so I advise always just either spray paint outdoors or um, in a well-ventilated spot. Then, we also have two cans of spray paint. paint. Now, these two cans, what's great about these is that you have two different colors. So one light, one dark. And you want contrasting colors. It really helps illustrate the piece that you're working on. Let's get started. First, we start with just a drawing. Anything that you want to do. I'm going to do a banana. So I first just sketch it out. Just a basic line drawing. Instead of having to do Photoshop or Illustrator or anything like that. Then, I go in with my Sharpie and I go over the top of it and kind of clean up the lines to see exactly what I want to cut out. It gives me a good idea of all the line work that I'm going to cut just at the beginning. So here we go. We just finished up that up and now let's get to cutting. So we start and you always want to think about um, leaving spaces when you're cutting for to act as natural bridges. Um, that way, because if you cut the whole thing out, then the whole form will be all cut out and you will lose all the line work. So, just cut each little part out first, doing only the line work and thinking only line. So, and get in their details. Um, it's real simple. Just take your time, nice and easy. This is what's going to take the longest time. So, um, just cut this, keep cutting, and I like to take each piece out as I go, so I sort of see what I'm already got going. And the reason why I chose a banana is it's just kind of a simple form to do. Um, later on, I feel like anybody can do get it more advanced. It's just a small thing to to start with, just to give you an example of what what you can do with a two layer stencil. So you cut all the line work out just like this and just take your time with it I am kinda of rushing it just to be fast but um, we'll see here get this last little bit and there we go there's our line drawing cut out perfect as a stencil then we line it up with the other sheet we spray it with our dark color Shake up the can really well. Always shake the cans really well. And then um, spray that down. Just not, not even worrying about it. And there we go. There's our line work sprayed out. Then we just cut the form all the way completely out of that. As fast, I mean, just simple cut all the way around the whole thing. That way we know it lines up perfectly with the line work. So... Just cut out that part, boom, there's the form. Piece of cake. Then, now we, we shake up the yellow, get it ready, put it over the top of our next piece of paper that we want it to paint on, and then we spray down the yellow. Oh man, this yellow's not so great. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. Got it. So there's your yellow, yellow, and there is the form. So we have the full form, and usually you want to let it dry be between layers, but I want to show you real quick, is we just put down the line work over the top of it, line it all up, and then we go in with the dark. And we spray this over the top of it, and voila, here's your banana. So, um, yeah, thanks for coming by.